Next, we have Mr. Patrick Fulkerson. I didn't see you there behind the laptop. Yes, we were at the funeral home together. <clears throat> and that's a shame. She was a nice lady, Mary. Yes. She All was. right, greetings. I am here to talk about the MS billing, which I know most of the residents <clears throat> in Monroeville do not know much about. But it's coming in the near future, and it can be as early as next year. This fee is coming into effect to help pay for the stormwater management and it is estimated to be around $95 per resident, even higher for some commercial properties, including <laughs> exempt properties in Monroeville. I feel the residents in Monroeville should be aware on how it was determined by some members of council about who should collect the, the fee, whether it should be collected by the Monroeville tax office, where most revenue is collected, or by outsourcing to a c company not in Monroeville. I would like to begin with a history of events that occur over the past year, <coughs> concurring this fee and how our tax office was involved. Last year, the municipality asked us if, if our department was interested in collecting the MS fee. Council also considered us, and we, came, we gave them an estimate cost for this billing, which I was told was the lowest possible proposal at that time in January 2018. Mr. Little stated to he wanted to talk to me about the MS4 billing, but somehow the meeting never occurred to talk about specifics in this billing. I was later informed that the committee did not support a full-time employee, so we gave Mr. Little a new proposal in April which include a part-time union employee. But we still didn't know the civics or the procedures and how the MS billing would be implemented. Since then, I have talked to Mr. Little on many occasions and informed him that the time was running out if he wanted the billing to start in January 2019. This past Saturday, I, was, I saw a councilman at an event in the community park and asked him about the billing, thinking that he would get the process rolling. I was informed by the council person that it has already been voted on and that the tax office was not getting the billing. He said the votes on the matter at, that, at the fire training building last week and they gave it to the COG, Council of Governments. I asked Mr. I asked the councilman how this could be. I heard since talk to a few other council members. One member said the reason Cog was given the billing was that he was told they came in at, with a lower proposal, even though he never saw it. In the, be in the beginning, I was told that we had the lowest proposal, so it seems that Cog was given another chance to resubmit the lower proposal. Now, councilman, another councilman told me to submit a lower proposal than COG, but I felt to do this properly, I felt that to do this properly, I would need more information, like any good person. The, about the specs or the program, how, how they wanted to implement it, payments, or is there going to be more than one payment? Is it going to be two payments? Is it going to be three? Is there a discount? Is there a property with time you're going to send it out? All these specs I wanted to know before we had sent out a new proposal. That's what intelligent people do. I have no doubt that COG could handle this, billing without any difficulty, but I felt you are showing a disservice to the tax office by wanting an outside agent should be doing the billing. In the past four years, we have brought a surplus of $4 million to the municipality, which saved council from raising taxes. Before that, we had, a, we had $10 million collection over seven years, and that is when I started the tax collection and got up to speed. We have done a good job and have done it exceedingly well, even though certain members of council felt they should look 
outside of Monrovia to do, do the collection. We are considered one of the best collection departments in the county, in the state. We have entire, entire entities calling us all the time for information of how to handle things. The residents always comment on how friendly and curious our staff is, and they are definitely an asset to Monroeville. The residents like working with our staff when the state mandated that the earned income tax had to be outsourced, the residents were upset that we didn't fight to keep it. So now I'm going to listen to the advice given by some of the Monroeville residents in the pa past and attempt to fight the fee from being outsourced, period. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, if I could briefly. Mr. Fulkerson, I, I don't think anyone up here could argue with uh, the tail end of your comments as far as how well of a job the tax office does, how well your staff does, how good of a job you do, the kind of collections that they do, the kind of service they provide. Um, but the, just to be clear, there was no vote taken on this. This is actually on our agenda this evening, and there is a vote that's going to happen on Tuesday. One, and also, too, as far as, as far as the bids go, council... It wasn't a bid. No, we have a we have no, there's a proposal. No well, there's a proposal a bid, that we have in bid, front of us. A bid process is done by taking the information, taking the specs, and coming out with a number. And that's and what sealed. No, and it becomes sealed. Well, we didn't do it's not. No, no, no that's that's a what a, no, that's a what a sealed. A that's what a sealed bid is. Yeah, you are correct. Yes, but we didn't have this. You had a proposal, and the cog also presented a proposal after well, the fact, and they were also in concern. They were also part of this organization of the committee all the time. We weren't, and that's unfair. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Did you not talk to Cog about this going on in with the uh, MS billing? You never talked to them. Only thing we asked them is would they be interested in doing it? Oh, you didn't talk to them other than that? No. How did they know what the specifics were? I don't know, Pat. All right, I'm just asking a the question. They had to know. Well, they knew as, they knew they as much as the tax Later office on, knew. we sent the... Uh, and how did they know my number? Later on. Well, they didn't know your number. Yes, they did. It. No, they did. We were the lowest okay. bid before... I, I'm our, not going to argue with that. Well, I'm not arguing with you either. You're saying something that I did in January. We were the lowest bid. <clears throat> That's... I don't uh, remember. Uh, she we didn't go out for bid. He did. No, you didn't go out. You went for proposal. We gave it to them. We what were the, the lowest. What are January. the proposals? They're, they're in front. They're at your uh, desk there, Steve. Right, it's in the right. packet. And how did COG get lower than us if in January they were higher? What page? Yes, right. That's the only question. It, right. You have to be fair to the tax. They have done you a service. Sure. But, and if you do want to think it's still the lowest, there's a lot of things in Monroeville that you can outsource and it would be lower. But the quality will not be there. And if I want to go into details, I can go into a lot of departments. Did well, you the, your, points, your points are well taken at this yeah, point. Well, you're, you're we, we appreciate them. Your, your stance has been I'll well let, made. I'll let the public. Pat, I just want to clarify a point. Maybe I misunderstood what you said at the beginning of what you were saying. Me, you, and Liz met in January, correct? We met, no, we didn't met on the civics. We gave you a proposal. You asked Carl to give you a proposal. We came in at the lowest at that period of time. You, me, you, and Liz met and, and, and spoke about it. No, we did not. You have, I have a letter from you, email. Well, Pat, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you because I have the notes from that meeting. Oh. Let, let, let me see. And I'll show them to you yes, tomorrow. Yes, I would appreciate it. We met it on January, I think it was 17th. And what was it all about? You, find you and Liz met in your office. Yeah, right here. Because um, I was directed by the MS4 committee to meet with you. And we were the lowest bid at that period. Well, I'm, How do we know I'm not that? talking about that. All I'm saying is, is because that Because you told us that. Who told you that? Mr. Little. I told you you were the lowest bid. Yes, you did it. Not a bid. It's a proposal. It doesn't really matter. I don't care if the cog's lower than us no, I, or higher than us. That has nothing to do with that. Your, your, your point's well taken with respect to uh, having the best service at the best price. I agree with you. The only thing that I just want to clarify is that me, you, and Liz did meet to initiate the process of talking about billing. 
the MS4, and it was in about the third week in January. And did we tell about how many buildings there were going to be? How many? What yeah, was it? because the postage did we, was based on that. Did we talk that. about if there was going to be a discount? Were you supposed to get back to well, us? That, yeah, there was going to be a discount, but this isn't. That's not even any ordinance right now with respect to a discount. I know that. You know, so that hasn't even been clarified. Okay, as far as that's concerned, but we did meet. Pat. Yeah, we did, <coughs> and, and if we met, we told us we were the lowest bid. And why would you not come back to us in April and tell me from the from the that they didn't want a full time person involved? All I did was tell, all I did was take because the you came in my office and you said, Pat, they the committee does not want you to have a full time employee. There, there was there was talk about what was it, what was so, the need for a part time yeah, person. So that is they correct. That is correct. Well, well folks, well, respect. Mr. Hawkinson, do you remember walking into a council meeting and saying, "Into the back room. Give give the bill billing to the call because." I'm done in two years, and the tax office probably isn't even going to be I had never said that. You, yes, never, you did. I did not. Well, folks, if I, I could. I know for a fact I that, never Mr. went Wilson, in there. And there was only one reason that we asked for a second pr pricing and not just from your yes. office being on the committee, because we needed to have someone that was able to do the billing. And you told us directly. Uh, no, I did not go oh, in okay. there. I, Mayor, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. folks, let's spend too much time on this. Let's do this. Hey, everybody, I have an idea. I have a great idea. Right. This is on our agenda for this evening about the billing. Yes. There will be no vote no votes will be taken this evening. This is just a work session meeting. We'll be discussing this matter. On Tuesday there will be votes taken, but we can discuss some of the we can do more discovery in the next couple of days as far as time frames and meetings. But at this point, let's move on to our next topic. All right, no problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thanks.